how to exclude audiences from YouTube ads. Hi, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider. And if you run YouTube ads, then chances are, if you haven't done what I'm gonna show you in this video, you've been wasting some money. Now, when we run YouTube ads, we try and make sure that our ads are only shown to our ideal target customer. Now, we may decide for argument's sake that our ideal target customer is a man in his 30s that's married, that lives in the United States, that, you know, is in the market for a set of golf clubs, for example. And we sell golf equipment, therefore this is our perfect target market. So we run ads to this audience. But unfortunately, or fortunately, a lot of these people are parents and they often pass their mobile phones or their tablets off to their kids who then spend ages and ages and ages watching all sorts of videos unrelated to golf and start clicking on things and watching ads for more than 30 seconds and so on and so forth. Only the other day, I gave my phone to my daughter. When I came back, she was watching Peppa Pig in Russian. Don't ask me. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a list of videos and channels that are completely unrelated to you, that you do not want your ads to be shown on whatsoever. So this could be a list of kids' channels. Maybe it's a list of music channels. Maybe it's a list of channels in another language. I don't know. So I've gone ahead and just created a very simple doc here. Now, this is an exclusion list. These are several channels, just to demonstrate this per process, that I never, ever, ever want my ads to be shown on. So how do we ensure that happens? Well, we need to go over to our Google Ads account and it's a little bit different if you've got a brand new account and if you've got an account that you've run traffic on before. So let's go over to this one first of all. So I've ran traffic to this account. So the first thing you wanna do after you've logged in is you wanna click on this little, um, these little three, square, three lines, come to video campaigns uh, and then come down here to placements, okay? And here you see exclusions. So what you can do here is you can click on exclusions and that will bring you here. And you can see I've already got a bunch of channels in here. Then I'm going to click on this little icon and I'm going to add my placement exclusion. But before I do that, I want to click on this little drop down and make sure that this is done at the account level. I, on my whole account, I do not want any of my ads appearing on these channels. Because we've got more than one URL, we're going to click on enter multiple placements and you can place YouTube videos, YouTube channels, uh, websites in here. So a good example is if you find that your ads are appearing on, for example, Mr. Beast, his channel, he's got you know tons and tons of subscribers, tons of people love his stuff, really, really good YouTuber, but you may not want your ads appearing on them. You just put his channel in here and that would be it. So I'm gonna paste these in here. Now I'm gonna hit here, we've got 12 placements. Now my those particular ones, I think I've already added. So you're not gonna see a change here, I believe. But what you do is you click on add 12 placements. Oh, they did, they added here. See the number went up and then we can just hit save. And that is pretty much it. So you wanna make sure that you get as many of these channels as possible. And there are free, free lists out there that you can download from people and then you know go ahead and add them. Now. In this one here, this is a brand new account. I'm gonna close the other one off screen. So this is a brand new account. I've not done anything whatsoever inside of this uh, account. So what we'll do here instead is we'll click on the tools section and then we'll come down to a shared library and click on this once and then we'll click on placement exclusion lists. So it really works in the same way. Uh, it's just a little bit of a different way of navigating to it because we don't have any anything on this particular account right now. So let's just wait for this to load up. We can see here we haven't created any list, so we'll create a list and we can give it a name. So I'll just pull this, call this exclusions. Again, we'll hit multiple placements. We'll plonk those 12 ones in here. We'll click on these add 12. See they've appeared here. And then we're gonna hit, uh, let's just kind of bring that down. And then we're going to hit save. Okay. Now, if we would come back here, we can click on this once. You can see them here. And then if you want to, once you start running you know, your campaigns here, you can um, apply it to a specific campaign. And then, then you should have the option to apply it at an account level. But this is how you do it if you've got a brand new account. And that's pretty much it. You want to make sure that you do this because otherwise you're going to find that your ads are appearing on all sorts of random kids' channels, gaming channels and all of that stuff and that may be completely 
uh, unrelated to what it is that you do. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please let me know by leaving a comment and of course like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. Now if you would like to get a free gift, I have some high converting YouTube ads scripts. If you click on the link below, that will take you to a page off of YouTube. You can enter your email address in and I will send them straight to your email inbox as well as some other unannounced goodies related to YouTube ads. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.